Hello everybody, my name's Steve, I'm the British Railroader and welcome to the British Railroader Shows You How. Today, this is the first in a new um, feature where I show you things that I've learned that I think might be helpful to you um, with modelling, um, etc. So what I'm going to look at today is my trusty old NCE Power Cab. Now, I've had this for about two years. I love it. It is my favorite DCC controller. Um, but I'm always learning new things about it. And there's a couple of things to do with the display that I want to show you. So I'm going to switch the camera around so we can focus on the power cab and I'll explain exactly what I mean. So here we have the power cab and you can see here, I've got it set up on the default um, screen. So the default screen has which locomotive, forwards and reverse, um, which speed step, it's got the fast clock up here. And then here, it'll display the first, I think it's six or seven functions um, that, you, that you use. But what I didn't know was that you can change the display um, to, instead of showing the fast clock, to actually show the track current, which is really handy because this um, power, this um, DCC system, the power cab can give up to, I think it's two amps, and you don't really want to go above that. So you want to see how much current is being drawn at the time. Another thing is, is that if you, if I just focus down here, you've got a recall button. And if I press the recall button, as you can see, it toggles between two different locomotives. Now the instructions have always said that you can have up to six recalls, but it comes as a default with two. And I've never known how to change that. But let me show you how. So first we go to our program escape button. Okay, so this is for things like programming on the track, etc. And what you need to do, and I'm going to move back down here so that you can see the display. I'm going to press this six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this says set cab parameters. So I'm going to go enter. And it says track current. Now, if you press one, it'll display the track current. So I'm going to press one, which is yes. If you've displaying the track current, you want to change it back, just press zero. So one. And then it says to you, how many recalls do you want? So I actually want three recalls because I, I tend to use a maximum of three locos on the layout. So I just change that to three. And then it's got other bits and pieces, but we'll go into them another time. We then press the program escape button again. That takes us back and it tells us how much track current we're currently using. OK, so there we go. That's how to change the display so you can see the track current and also how you can increase the number of recalls on your NCE power cab. Now, the instruction booklet is pretty comprehensive, but it doesn't, as far as I can tell, and I've tried reading through it a couple of times, it doesn't really specifically tell you how to do that. It does show you how to access that menu, but I ended up having to look it up, and funny enough, on YouTube. Um, so you never know. You'll either find me or you'll find the other guy <laughs> who did this. But there we go. Just a very quick one then just to show you how. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if anybody's got any other ideas of things that they want to see, as you know, I've done a couple of decoder installs. Um, I've done, um, uh, what do you call it, fitting um, uh, stay lives. And I'm going to try and do a few other bits and pieces as we go along. But please give us a comment. Give me some suggestions of things that you know that I've done that you might want to see me do. Um, again, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. As I record this, I have 
uh, if I remember, 545 subscribers. I've gone up quite a lot since um, Gaz's shout out a couple of weeks ago. Many thanks to all of the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Tell your friends if you know people that you think might like it, then get them to hit that subscribe button. It would be nice if I get that extra five subscribers before Christmas um, and get myself up to 550. But that's it for now. This is Steve, the British Railroader, saying goodbye for now from my model railway run. Bye bye. <music>